It's William here, the Bangkok voice coach, but I'm not in Bangkok. I'm up in the northeast of Thailand. Look at that. That really is the view behind me. It's quite, quite extraordinary. These are the rice fields where all the rice is grown and then transported all over Asia. So we're right here in the middle of things. Who needs to be in the city? Well, today I'm going to look at something which I've meant to look at for a very long time, but I've had some trouble here and there getting past YouTube who seem to want to block it. I do understand that El Amor en Ti was debuted at the Almaty concert on the 23rd of September 2022. And so it's a relatively new song and therefore there are certain restrictions around it. So in order to get around that, I've had to hide the video a little bit. But I'm sure you don't mind because you probably know it a lot better than me. I am going to dive right in. Not into there. This is operatic Dimash. I'm quite excited about this. I've heard a lot. This is the lyric baritone. This is F minor and that's a low C. is the hook of the song. most beautiful lyric baritone singing. He is just in that range. It's very Dmitry Horostovsky. It's beautifully covered and velvety, not at all pushed, but dark and got a lot of core to it. That's Dimash singing. Don't forget, this is the man who can sing the widest range imaginable. How often do we get to hear him singing as though he's a lyric baritone in an operatic role? Don Giovanni, this could be, or it could be a Verdi role like Germain Père in La Traviata. This is glorious singing. Could even be Verdi smack Beth because there's a bit of a backbone to it as well. A little bit of an edge to it. It's dark. And I love the way he's wearing black. <laughs> Wrapping back around into F minor. the lyric tenor. We're still in F minor, but you realize that he's just literally gone up the octave. He's now singing in a thinner way. It's still his connected voice, but he's managed to somehow lighten out from that sort of thicker baritone to this more narrow lyric tenor, but still beautiful, beautiful connection to his voice. Now, how he does that, we don't really know because Dimash is not someone that you can just explain away. It's still his own voice, and yet he's got this ability to sing with narrower vocal cords. I love the baritone singing, 
I absolutely adore it. I think he could have been a wonderful operatic baritone, but there's so much more to him, as we see, that there's no way he could be restricted to that. that wind down, something's about to happen. So that's really interesting because it is different, isn't it, when he sings? That's Red Dimash there as an operatic soprano. We're going to call him that because he touched the top C6 there just on that last lift. A uh, great key, of course, F minus, a terrific key for uh, opera singers because of all these uh, chances to sing top Cs, whether it's a tenor top C, whether it's a baritone top G or a soprano top C6. His soprano voice is more different to his two other previous ones. You will agree that his baritone and his tenor are more closely related. And then there's this extension, which is essentially much further away from those chest voices but still characteristic of him, still sounds like Dimash, of course. The use of the word corazón, which comes up so often in Spanish songs, corazón, my beloved, my lover, uh, all the time you hear it, and it's such a great word and very, very, very idiomatic in a, in a Spanish love song. <laughs> saying it's coda this wrapping up of this exceptionally wonderful talent and i almost felt like i was there 
I wonder, could you tell me if you were there, what it felt like to hear this song for the first time? Because I kind of imagine that it was almost a little bit too much to take in. There's so much going on. It is the most densely packed Dimash performance. It is just non-stop talent. It is non-stop virtuosity. It just keeps coming. And of course, it's a hologram-tastic feast of Dimash in all his wonderful glory this great, great singer with this enormous range showcased to perfection, but still singing from the heart. It's William here in the northeast of Thailand, right here in the rice fields. Thanks for watching. See you soon.